we're here in the Valley of Guadalupe, which, which is actually a very famous place in Mexico for wine. You can see the vineyards behind me, and we're about to do a little tasting. Probably get a glass of wine each. Neither one of us are really into it, but it's for you. Very mineral. Very mineral. It's a peculiar rosé. It's, it's very fruity and a little dry. If you ever didn't know, you're supposed to look at it and aerate it a bit. Maybe give it a sniff. It does smell good, it smells very fruity. It does taste like black pepper. Yeah, it's, it's good. Much stronger. Yeah. Right. Next one. Yes, please. Yeah, it was very strong. It, it like, you know, when you taste black pepper, it actually tasted just like that. It's so good. Four grapes, Cabernet Franc, Nebbiolo, Malbec, and Merlot. 4% Cabernet Franc, the other 20, 20, 20%, and 18 months in French fries. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, this one's really smooth. Which one was the best? And then? This one was the best by far. You said it's a Merlot? 20% Merlot. 20% Merlot. Which one of the which one of the three is your favorite? This one? Yeah. Yeah. For special moment. How much does a bottle go for? 900 pesos or 45 dollars. 45 dollars. Yeah. He's the principal wine sealer and every process is right here. The other special place, Cabori and It's like being in the Hitman game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this. Gotta give me one of these in my house. And he's Cabori or Eating Cave. Is for uh, the origin of the wine in Encuentra in every fine jar in Encuentra, Guadalupe. Oh, wow. Can you taste it? The wine. If you feel the walls, they're very loose. It's very much dirt and not stone. As you can see behind me, we got personalized cliffside hotel rooms right above the, the winery. And if you are curious, the wine tasting we just did was $18 USD or 360 pesos. And we got to try three locally grown wines grown right here in these uh, vineyards. Changes, cycles. And we got to tour the... Uh, the cave. The cave. And they cycle the wine so they're different every time. And they cycle the wine so they're different every time. Put out of shit. Now I get to go slightly tipsy driving. <laughs> Where are we at? We're at a Trillero show. 
We're at a Mexican truck convention. You know what my dad told me? The thing, the thing, uh, the only thing wrong with Mexican trunk conventions, too many Mexicans. I'll say this though, we were saved by that Mexican trucker down south, so I don't got any bad blood. And what is it called when you switch? A roll reversal or something? No, no, no. Exchange, a trucker exchange. Yeah, we're in the trucker exchange program. <laughs> we, were pulling, we were pulling orange juice out of South Carolina. Next thing we knew, we got sent here. Look at the purple trucks. Let's get in on the purple truck gang. Yeah, we got some good ice here. Look like at that bus. Uh-huh, push that stuff. Everybody move to the back of the bus. Open a trucker's way. Some older ones. Nice. Hey, big rig and go, go trucking. Let's just buy a big rig and go trucking. 48 states, Canada, Mexico, all the way down to the Darien Strait. Or the Darien, Darien Pass. Pass, yeah. That would definitely serve our purposes. Make a couple deliveries. Just cut the audio out on this part. <laughs> I think we could have gotten meth from that other guy, honestly. <laughs> yeah, 100%. From the meth if we cut him in on it. We should have filmed him. He would have kept talking. <laughs> Yeah, his attitude probably would have changed. Attitude adjustment. This ain't how you truck, you ain't trucking right. <laughs> 